Is the Canon R still worth it? I feel like I've done this before. Should you buy the EOS R in 2022? Well, there's a few things to consider. Yeah, that video, you guys liked it, but the thing is, that's old, and I was very sick with COVID when I did that, and I was in quarantine. The audio is bad, the video is bad, the lighting's bad. So let's redo it. Now that the Canon R has been out for a while, it's really come down in price, especially on the used market. And if you're looking for a new camera, Canon is a great brand to go with. And a very popular brand too, which means better deals on the used market. If you do decide to get the Canon R, I would recommend getting an RF to EF adapter. Because EF lenses are still fantastic lenses. And they're much cheaper than RF glass. Because RF glass can get very expensive very quickly. And since EF lenses have been out for a long time, you are going to get some good deals if you buy them used. And they're still great lenses. And if you get the EF to RF adapter with the control ring, you'll actually have the functionality of RF glass with an EF lens. Now the Canon R is a fantastic camera. It's very well built, it feels great in your hands, and it's weather resistant. So you don't have to worry about dust and debris and all that crap getting in your camera and messing it up. Now, even though it's weather resistant, you can get rain and splashes on it. It's not waterproof. So don't think that you can just bring this camera into the ocean with you. You're gonna need a waterproof rig for that. Now, a great thing with this camera and a lot of other mirrorless cameras is that you actually have an electronic viewfinder. So when you look through the viewfinder, you see what the photo is going to look like before you take the photo. Now you don't get that with conventional DSLR glass because all it is is just a mirror showing you what the lens is seeing. In this case, you get a little LCD panel inside your camera that shows the exact photo. And on the Canon R, it's very clear and very high quality. The Canon R boasts a 30.3 megapixel sensor packing a 40,000 ISO range, high speed autofocus in 0.05 seconds, with a huge focus area of 88 by 100. Almost the entire sensor has manual focusing points and it's touch to drag. So when you're looking through the viewfinder, you can use the back touch screen and actually move around the focusing point while you're looking through the viewfinder. Because you never know when you wanna actually change the focusing point. So when you're looking through it, you can just use your thumb to change that focusing point to where you want it to focus on, which is really handy. By the way, guys, my name is Jeff. I'm a photographer from the Toronto area. And if you guys like this sort of content, maybe like the video, subscribe. I'd love to see you guys back here hanging out. Thanks. While other cameras have the ability to shoot higher frame rates at higher quality, the Canon R still does well. It can shoot 4K, but it does crop in, which is a little bit of a bummer. It can shoot full HD at 60 frames a second. It also does have 120 frames per second mode, but you have to enable that in the menu there's no autofocus in that mode and the downgrade in quality is quite substantial. So even though you can shoot 120 frames, odds are you won't. I guess it's fine for YouTube and home videos, but if you're doing anything in any professional sense, I, I just wouldn't. But on the plus side, the 1080p video looks fantastic and you can shoot 8-bit C-Log. So you can really do a lot with the color grade on this camera. You can also shoot 10-bit with the Canon R, but you're going to need an external recorder to do that. And the Canon R is fantastic for vlogging because with the flip-out articulating screen, you can actually tell when you're in focus or where you are in the frame. Unlike my Canon N5 where it has a flip-down screen, half the time it's on a gobi or a tripod and I just can't see myself. So am I in frame? I don't know. Maybe. The Canon R also has a strange feature to it. It has a touch bar. So it pretty much works the same as a dial, but touch for some reason. You can set it to your ISO, your shutter speed, white balance, anything. But I turned mine off because I actually found that my thumb would hit it every now and then and I changed the settings not realizing it and screw up a shot. But, you know, maybe you're going to like it. I don't know, it's a very unique feature only to the R. One thing I absolutely love about this camera is the fact that it's a 30.3 megapixel camera. Now I know there's tons of people out there that say megapixels don't matter, megapixels are, you know, dumb. 
no I, I i disagree i reframe probably about 50 percent of my photos i'm always cropping them always changing them so if i can hold some of that detail in while i'm cropping that's a win for me because you never know maybe you want to crop in that photo 30 percent having those extra megapixels having that detail still there that's fantastic another thing i love about this camera is just being able to look down and see all of your camera settings on your little LCD screen. That little LCD screen is amazing. When you're out and you're in a low area where you just can't flip out the screen or for whatever reason, just a quick glance down and you can see your camera settings. I know it's just a little thing, but I love it. If you want a camera that can do it all fairly well at a fair price, the Canon R is a great option. And I just want to say thank you for making it to the end of this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.